Hey there party people, this is II Carly Cakes and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for sticking around. I know I haven't uploaded a makeup video in a long time. Um, this week I uploaded a Sims makeup tutorial. I just wanted to do something different and it was quick and easy because all I had to do was play a game and uh, it was pretty simple. So today we are doing a goth tutorial because someone requested it and I'm kind of nervous because I don't really do goth makeup but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do glam goth. I'm gonna make it more glamorous I guess because I don't really know much about goth makeup. I researched it a little bit. I watched a few tutorials on YouTube um, so hopefully we uh, achieve some kind of glam goth look today. I'm try. I'm gonna definitely try. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyes with the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. And that's gonna lock in all this darkness and uh, make the look last. Take a little bit, just a little bit. You do not need much of this stuff. I'm going in with China White in the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette to set that. I'm going to take my brow pencil by Benefit, especially my brow pencil in shade 4. And I'm gonna do my brows, but today I'm gonna make them a little bit sharper because that's kind of a trend in goth makeup that I've noticed, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so definitely not too sharp, but sharper than what I normally do because golf is kind of dramatic. Okay, so I'm going back in with the Jeffree Star palette and taking the shade Vanity, and I'm gonna put this in my crease. Normally I wouldn't do this, so this is scaring me, but um, we'll work through it. We will work through it. No transition, just full on black or gray, whatever this color is, plum. Oh my God. And then I'm gonna take that on the lid as well. Okay, and if you've ever seen a picture of me from middle school, this is exactly how I looked every single day because I was going through that phase and I thought I was the shit and I was not letting anybody tell me any different and now that I'm looking on it years later I'm just like wow this is too much for me okay so now I'm going in with a more detailed fluffy brush to add some more shadows to it I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and this is a really good palette by the way and there's a really black shade that I'm gonna use and it's called Abyss which is actually pretty fitting use this color and I'm gonna make it even darker <laughs> Okay, I look like a panda now. 
taking concealer on the back of my hand and I'm going to do a little bit of a cut crease. Not a full cut crease, like a half cut crease. And I'm gonna take the shade Royalty, which is a royal purple right here, and it's a metallic. I'm going to spray the brush with MAC Fix Plus. Right? And I'm going to dip into it and put that on the white. shade Vanity to blend in the edges a little bit. So to make this look extra dramatic, I'm going to go ahead and add a wing with my Kat Von D tattooed liner. Now for my face. I'm going to use the Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay. I'm actually going to be using two, two foundations, L'Oreal Pro, wait no, this is Pro Matte, this is Infallible both super high coverage which is good because I'm not white I mean I am white but I'm not super they're two different textures so they look a little weird on my hand they look like coagulated blood if you ask me it's kind of gross oh yeah super white and I just got some on my pants great Okay, now to blend. I'm officially dead. Congratulations to me. And now I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade Fair Beige. Hopefully it's white enough. And now, to set it, I'm going to use the HD Finishing Powder in shade Banana by NYX. Oh, got some hair. Almost needed tweezers for that one. Okay, um, I officially feel like a ghost now, so I'm going to go and contour a little bit with the shade light in the lightest shade. And I'm going to do it heavily so I look skinny, which I'm not.
gonna go in with this and clean up the contour because I fucked up a little bit, but don't pay attention. Okay, now I'm gonna dust off the bake. I'm feeling really goth, not all that glam though. I do not like this makeup, and I probably won't ever do a goth makeup tutorial again in the future, just because um, it's just not me anymore, and it looks fucking ridiculous to me. Like, no offense if you like goth, but it's just not for me. It just looks, this is like Halloween makeup year round. Like, why? I don't have a black lipstick, so I think I'm going to use a gel eyeliner and cover it with powder to set it. It's just because I don't feel like any of the colors I have is going to go with this look. I'm going to use gel eyeliner. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm going to put it on my mouth and set it with eyeshadow. So I've never worn black lipstick before and I am freaking out. But I kind of like it. It's like really different. Really different. Not lying, like I actually kind of like this. The lipstick. I don't like the eyes, but I like the lipstick. Now I'm going to set it with eyeshadow. This makeshift lipstick is not gonna budge at all. Like, it feels so locked in place. How can I forget mascara? Um, it's been a long fucking day and I'm tired. It's been a long week and it's only Wednesday. Someone help me. I'm gonna go in with the uh, Lash Paradise. Best mascara ever. And before I put mascara on the bottom lash line, I'm going to go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash line with a little bit of black. Yeah, black. Because why not? Oh wow, well. that's uh, something. They asked me what I was going to be for Halloween and I said, a raccoon. That's what I feel like I look like right now. It's a fucking raccoon. That's golf for ya. Fucking black everything. I don't even know what I'm doing. But I kinda like it. Ooh, yeah. Okay, something different. I'm in my comfort zone most of the time. Okay, I might have just ruined the eye look even more, but it's different and I kind of like it. Hmm. With the bottom lashes, I'm going to do roller lash by Benefit because it's better. Not that you can even see my bottom lashes, but you know, ayo, why not? 
Okay, one last, well, second to last step is highlighting. And I cannot skip this because I love highlighting, so. I'm gonna go in with the trusty old uh, Anastasia Glow Kit by, well, Nicole Guerrero teamed up with Anastasia and made this. I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade because this this makeup is so extreme, why not, right? I'm gonna put the pink Super light, super bright. Gotta match the rest of the makeup. Extreme. Extremely ugly. To be honest with you, I cannot wait to wash my face. And I'm not trying to bash goth makeup, I just hate it. I, I hate it. I hate it on myself. I would never wear this out. Well, maybe, just because. Why not? Right, why not? Fucking lit. Okay. And the last step is setting my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. So that was my goth tutorial. This is my goth look. I hate it. I can't wait to wash it off. But if you do goth and you love goth, then uh, keep on doing it, but it's not for me. And uh, I'm kind of glad I did this tutorial so I could discover that I hate goth makeup on myself. If this even registers as goth, or is this just horrible, dark makeup? But this is my goth look. And I kind of like it better with the hair down, but either way it looks like shit. And I would not wear this. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you like goth, and I offend you, I'm sorry. But it's just not for me. So uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video! Happy Halloween, by the way. It's not even Halloween, but this is like Halloween makeup, so yeah. Happy Halloween. I can't wait for Halloween.